The rudder stuffing box has been leaking since we purchased the boat. It was noted on the survey. I've been procrastinating on this because there just is not an easy way to work and get down in there. I'm scrunched up in a little ball on my knees wearing knee pads with my face pressed against a filthy piece of aluminum and fiberglass. Uh, so there's two stopper nuts that have to, a stopper nut and the uh, clamping nut, got those removed from both studs, and then I was just tapping around trying to figure out how to remove this uh, part that provides clamping pressure on the packing material. I couldn't work it loose, I later figured out it was uh, from the corrosion that's on the shaft above that part. So in the end I reinstalled the nuts to back the studs out. And once I got the studs removed, I was able to lift the clamping piece up. And we'll see, the, the water flow, it's more of like a slow, just kind of oozes out of there. It's not even really a noticeable water flow. And we only get the accumulation of water in the bilge when we're underway. And uh, here's, I used a pick to dig out the old stuffing material. I'd say I got about 75% of it out of there. The bottom layer was uh, very disintegrated and I was only lifting up little chunks. And I was afraid I was going to snap off the tip to my metal pick down in there and then have a foreign piece of metal to deal with. So I left what I couldn't get out in there. And uh, the stuffing size is one quarter inch. I originally purchased three eighths. That was too large. And I measured and cut the stuffing piece, the packing, and did like a 45 degree cut. So there's an overlap on the seam. And I tried using the, the part to push the packing in. That didn't work so well. But just using the pick and working okay. it in was effective. Then I cut a second piece to size with diagonal cuts and put the place seam 180 degrees away from the first layer. As miserable and uncomfortable as this job was, it didn't actually suck as bad as I thought it was going to. If this solves the leak and things dry out back there, I'm going to get down there with a metal brush clean up all the green goo that's down there and apply a fresh coat of bilge paint. Done.